Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have a, a lithium iron phosphate battery from XZNY and it is a 24 volt 100 amp hour battery. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we got. Okay. All right, as soon as we open it, right on top, we have a user manual and it is only just a little trifold uh, piece of paper. Um, it really doesn't tell you much except for the battery parameters and uh, some little quick snippet about the customer service. So there's that. Uh, it also comes with some sort, of, uh, some sort of Amazon card that says if there was a problem with shipping and handling to let them know. Uh, it also comes with uh, post bolts and, uh, and washers and lock washers. All right, nice piece of styrofoam. And then the battery. There we go. All right, let's take the bag off. Okay, uh, you know what? The first thing you're probably thinking is, how is this battery a 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery? Look. Look at the form factor. Look at the size of this thing. Let me go grab a uh, 12 volt 100 amp battery and we'll do a quick comparison. All right, here is the typical size of a, uh, a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. This one is from Golden Mate. Let's look at the difference between these two batteries and when it comes to the size. This side is flush, so it's only, what, maybe an inch longer it's about two inches taller and when it comes to depth it's probably about an inch deeper so i find that amazing i mean if you were if you were to look at these from afar you wouldn't know which battery is the 24 volt and which one is the 12 volt so that makes me wonder i mean is this battery really uh 100 amp hours i mean that is such a small form factor that, that it makes me wonder how they got so much capacity into this small unit. So let's go ahead and uh, take these terminal covers off and do a voltage check. Okay, voltage of this battery, 26.56. So that is exactly where we want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, throw a battery charger on it and get this thing charged up all the way and then we'll do a capacity test. All right, I just wanted to show you that I took all the hardware out of this uh, bag that came with the battery and it came with two different lengths of post bolts. Now, I, 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 at first I was like, you know, why, why would you do that? But it made me think, you know what? I bet you can screw this in you know, you can screw it in all the way and still have a good amount left. Yeah, you still have, I mean, you still have a good, I don't know, three quarters of an inch uh, left. And I wonder if this is for, um, you know, if you don't have a bus bar, you can, you can put multiple ring terminals on here you know, you can almost stack them up and this thing would still compress them down and hold it in place. Because here, here are the regular M8 bolts right here. But for this test, I'm gonna go ahead and use these regular ones. Okay, I've got this uh, XZNY uh, 24 volt battery all charged and ready to go. And it is connected to a 24 volt uh, MX Moon Free inverter. So what I have is uh, just a simple shunt and what I'm going to be powering is a 200 watt uh, heater. Uh, it's going to be a 0.1 C test, so it's going to be a nice slow burn. Uh, it's going to last about 10 hours or so. Uh, but I wanted to do that because I'm going to be at work all day. So I want this test to kind of run throughout the day. And then when I get home, uh, I'll be able to see the results uh, without having the battery be dead for hours on end. So uh, let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, so the battery test is started and we're gonna see our capacity in about 10 or 11 hours. So I'll see you then. All right, <clears throat> well, we just came back downstairs and everything is turned off. So let's go ahead and turn off the heater and the inverter. 
and then I'm going to try to use my Hasido battery charger to wake up the battery. Hopefully I should just be able to touch them and it should wake up. The results are 103 amp hours. The test took 12 hours and 17 minutes. That is 2.67 kilowatt hours. Okay, uh, we're gonna get this battery charged back up and then we're gonna do a discharge test to see uh, what we can do with this battery. Okay, I've got this uh, XZNY battery charged back up to about 70%. And uh, so I kind of want to do a soak test, which means I'm going to uh, draw as much power as I can from this battery, which in the manual, it does show that the, uh, the max discharge, the max continuous discharge is 120 amps. So if you multiply 120 by, uh, you know, uh, was it 25.6? you get just a hair over 3,000 watts, 3,072 uh, watts to be uh, specific. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna heat this room up. And what I have, I have plugged into my 4,000 watt inverter is a uh, 1,200 watt heat gun. Um, I also have two 1,500 watt portable heaters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get it so it's pulling right at 3,000 watts. Um, and we have the monitor right here. We have the monitor right here so we can, uh, we can see the current that is being pulled from the battery. And uh, we're going to try to do that for about five minutes just to see what will happen. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use my Top Dawn uh, thermal imaging camera to show you what it looks like before the test and then uh, what it looks like after the five minutes. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, and uh, I went ahead and just moved some stuff around. So I got my two heaters and my heat gun back here. I'm only gonna probably use these two heaters right here though. So let's go ahead and do a thermal, a thermal picture of what it looks like before. But it's showing the temperature is right around 70 degrees. The hottest thing right now is actually the monitor. And the monitor is right at, uh, you know, 70 degrees. So let me go ahead and take a picture of this. Okay, and then let's start the soak test. Okay, let's turn on the inverter. All right, we're gonna turn on our first, our first heater, put it on max. And we are drawing 60 amps, 68. So almost 70 amps right there. So let's go ahead and uh, actually turn on the heat gun instead. Turn the heat gun on high. There we go. And now we are pulling right at 117 amps, which is 2.93 kilowatts. So I'm gonna let this run for five minutes and, uh, and we'll see what everything looks like and we'll see if the battery can actually last that long. We are three minutes in, as you can tell right there, and it's still pulling 116 amps with no problem. Um, the wiring is getting pretty warm. I'll, I'll show you the image once, once it's done. But I noticed that the fan on this inverter has still yet to turn on, even though we've been pulling, you know, almost 3000 watts for uh, now four minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes and check out the thermal image now. You can see those wires are getting hot. Now, uh, it shows that right at the, at the terminal down there, it's 120 degrees. So let me go ahead and just uh, take a picture of this. Let's turn all this off. Okay, the XZNY battery, the 24 volt, 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery that I have, um, it performed a soak test for five minutes without any issue whatsoever. It dropped down to about what, 24, 24.4 volts, uh, but it still was able to power those heaters for five minutes. And I was drawing at the max amperage of what the, uh, the battery manufacturer recommends. So I would say that this battery is a, um, it's a solid performer 
It does exactly what you're buying it for. Uh, it doesn't have any bells or whistles. I do believe that it does have low temperature uh, charging protection uh, inside. Uh, you would have to watch. Uh, there's a teardown video of uh, Brad Cagle. I'll put his, uh, his uh, video in the description. He tears this thing apart and I believe that he does find a, uh, a low temp sensor. But you're not getting like, you're not getting Bluetooth operations, you're not getting anything like that. You're basically just getting uh, the capacity. Um, and as far as I know, with this soak test and all the other tests that I ran, uh, the capacity is good. Uh, it can run a, a large load for, for a while. So I am confident that it can run a medium or low load for you know, for years and years and years. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about this uh, XZNY 24 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, please leave in the comments. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.